Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, monkeys, and welcome to the Live Wild or Die podcast. I'm your host, Monkey Dan. This is episode number 28. It's a little bit of a random episode, but that's all right. We're monkeys. We're wild. So first thing I wanted to talk about was we're having an epic, epic Black Friday sale coming up November. It starts actually November 28th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. We've got, I mean, it's just, we don't do this kind of pricing often. So if you're interested in picking up another Pocket Monkey, an Outdoor Anchor, the Isocore is only $10, $100 off Monkey Bars 2, Pocket Monkey only $99. So if you're thinking of giving the gift that keeps on giving, the gift of fitness, the gift of wildness, definitely think about picking these up. I think we're going to sell out relatively quick. So don't miss out. Get there early. And the sale will run through Cyber Monday. So if you're traveling, if you're in the wild, still might be some opportunity. But uh, like I said, get there early. I think it's going to go quick. And on the last episode, I was kind of a travel workout episode. And I want to give a little bit of a report of how that went. And I was traveling. This is uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday, November 27th. Pretty much the last week, we were out visiting family in California. Beautiful weather out there, man. Gosh, that ocean air, that moisture, the redwoods. It's just, uh, it's good living. But Colorado's pretty good too. So I the day before we left, I went for a run here. I was using these minimalists. They're actually, they're zero shoes running sandals. I do long runs and hikes in them, especially if it, the train's not super technical and rocky, but I hadn't run in them for a little while and just did a little five mile out and back and I strained my right calf, which was a super, which was a, it was a major bummer. So I strained my right calf. It's not horrible, but it's just one of those things. It's, I don't have, I don't have anything imminent that I'm training for in the next couple months. So I just decided, I tried to run when I was out there and I decided it's just not worth it. I'm just going to give it a couple weeks, let it fully heal. So I was bummed because I do these annual, I do this annual beach workout out in California, lift logs, squat rocks, sprint on the beach. Just, it's super fun. It's creative. It's playful. I usually try and set up pocket monkey or monkey bars to somewhere, that little pulling, but I didn't get to do that, which was a major bummer, but I did do something. So did tons of pull-ups, tons of push-ups, dips. I still was able to do like squats, lunges. I could even, I could do like jump squats and kind of like these leg blaster circuits. But, you know, basically I did my standard monkey warm up. So I'd wake up, do my push ups, my rows, do some core exercises. I was doing actually, uh, started throwing in some mountain climbers, which they felt good. And then I did tons of pull ups, like I said, tons of push ups. And, you know, I was bummed I couldn't do this epic outdoor wild workout, but still got stuff in and just, it's all about making the best of your situation. So if you happen to be traveling, maybe you don't have a setup spot for your pocket monkey, or maybe time is limited, but wake up, do some squats, do some push ups, set up on your door in your hotel, do some monkey rows, work your core, do a plank. There's a five minute plank workout. I love, I've both, I've, excuse, I've posted on Instagram several times, but basically it's a five minute plank workout for your core. What you do is put your foot in the, <laughs> you put your feet in the foot straps and you get into a plank and I like to do like 40 to 45 seconds. I'll hold the plank for 40 to 45 seconds and then I'll rest either 20 or 15 seconds. So it's a minute total and I'll repeat that five times, five minutes total. You can, you can adjust the length of your plank hold depending on where you're at. So you could do 30 seconds, hold 30 seconds, rest. You could do a 15 second, hold 45 seconds, rest, whatever you need to do. But that's an awesome, just quick little core workout. And then for some reason, there's something about sets of three or rounds of three that just 
work well. So again, that classic monkey warm up, the three rounds of the 15 rows, 15 push ups, 15 squats. If you do that at an up tempo pace, it gets your heart rate up a little bit. You get the pump. You could push those rounds out to five rounds, six, seven, eight. You could even do 10 rounds of that as fast as you can. And that's just, it's a solid full body workout. So if you're traveling for the holidays, just get, do something. You don't need to, you don't need to do this premier professional level workout. Just, it's all about keeping the momentum. And that's something I wanted to talk about on this episode as well. It's just really, I think training when you're traveling, training over the holidays, all this different stuff. I really think the goal is it's more of maintaining your fitness and keeping that mental momentum versus like getting in these epic workouts, right? I think it's, it's that, I always say this, but it's that something is better than nothing attitude. And really for me, what it is, is, you know, especially with a kid now, it's just when we travel, it's a lot harder to get out, get out and do these super long, crazy workouts. So I'm kind of doing more of that micro workout, just getting these little sessions in throughout the day. But what I've noticed is it makes it so much easier to get back into more of that routine where you can do more intense workouts once you're back home in the routine, whatever. Having done just a little bit while you're out away, it helps so, so much. So I think really the goal is it's maintaining momentum versus making like huge gains or anything like that. So just something to think about. And then tomorrow's Thanksgiving here in the U S and we monkeys, anyone listening, we're super thankful to have you as customers and a part of the monkey family. You know, we're a crowd funded company and we, we literally would not be here without you guys. So it's been, uh, it's been such an epic journey. I moved to Colorado in January of 2013 to kind of start this, this venture. And we've gone, we've gone through several failures, but a lot of success as well. And it's really because of you guys. So thank you and have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. And on that topic of Thanksgiving, there's, there's a, there's that kind of Turkey trot tradition that most cities, towns, folks have. I think that's awesome. I'm planning on running a local peak tomorrow. Well, that'll be my monkey Turkey trot. But for me, I think just knowing you're going to have this feast later in the day, getting up, doing something active in the morning. It just, it makes the food taste so much better. So I'd encourage anyone, if you don't have plans to get out and do something tomorrow for Thanksgiving, get up first thing in the morning, do a little monkey session, get your heart rate up, get your muscles working. And, uh, it's just going to make that food taste so much better. Everything. So my two cents there. And then I wanted to finish on kind of revisiting motivation. I received a a message on Instagram. Just gentleman was talking about, you know, he's got two young kids. They're busy. Space is kind of limited, especially for setting up something on a door. So he's just kind of lacking motivation. So these are my thoughts. Hopefully it helps. So for limited space. So I'm actually, I'm, it's, Good you bring this up, but I'm in the midst of, I'm trying to find a monkey wall mount. So it's going to make it super easy to clip in. Could be pocket monkey, could be the ISO core. And then for sure it'll help with 360 monkey 360 as well. So we are on that. We should have those sometime after the new year, but we're working on a door mount or excuse me, a wall mount solution for our current monkey selection and future but it's also super easy and cheap. You could go down to the hardware store, get an eye bolt. It's going to screw into a stud in your wall and definitely, definitely test this before you do anything too crazy. Make sure you have a secure setup and, uh, you're not going to rip your wall out or anything like that. But, and also definitely check the, uh, the weight limit on the eye bolt, but you can get an eye bolt or some, some other sort of anchor. You can, set that up. I would just recommend setting up if you're going to do it at about the height of a door. So maybe six feet, eight inches, something like that. Set up about that high. It's going to give you, depending on where you live and the guy that sent me this, it sounds like his space is pretty limited. So if in your living room or somewhere where there's more space, if you can get this wall mount, just go get an eye bolt. 
So we'll get the monkey anchor, screw that in, test it, make sure it's good to go. And then that should really help with doing more big lateral movements, anything like that. And, you know, I've got a 14 month old and I really, it's like one of those, you join the secret club. Once you have kids, you can only really understand once you have them for your own, but I get it. It's hard. It can be stressful. You're tired, but I think the motivation it's got to come with, come from within. I, it certainly helps to listen to like badass music or, you know, there's all these inspirational videos on YouTube. If you're sitting there watching them, that's uh that's great, but make sure you actually get up and do stuff. But what I'll do is I'll put those on my laptop, kind of put the screen down and then I'll do yoga in the morning or do my kind of monkey session, whatever I happen to be doing. Just those words sometimes that you can use them as fuel, but it can't be, you can't just rely on that for your motivation. It's got to come from within. I think David Goggins, I've heard him mention this. It's just basically do what you don't want to do. If you don't want to do it, that's probably what you should do. And the guy that sent me this note, he was saying, you know, they end up kind of, I can't remember how he said it exactly, but it was something about how at night you end up kind of in front of the TV and that was an excuse. And that, that, uh, that's just, if TV's your excuse, it's just, you got to change your mindset. So it's all right to watch TV. Just make sure you're doing something. So that's where maybe for this situation, if you could get an anchor point where you could use pocket monkey or isocore in your living room, but then also, you know, make the best of your situation. If, if you just can't set up in there, do air squats, do push ups, do sit ups, do lunges, do lunge jumps, do planks. I mean, there's so many calisthenics exercises you can do without any equipment especially when you're watching TV, you can do the commercial workout where, you know, sit back, enjoy the show. And then during the commercial, see how many push-ups you can do, see how many squats you can do, lunges, whatever. But again, if you're watching an hour of TV, that could be what are shows 22 minutes with eight minutes of commercials. So an hour of TV could be a 16 minute, 16 minutes of movement that could add up to quite a few reps, especially if you end up going a little longer. So it's just, you got to change your mindset to taking advantage of the opportunity and doing <laughs> the Goggins, the Goggins way, do what you don't want to do. So it could also be, it doesn't necessarily have to be super intense either. You could be stretching, you could do yoga, just drop down and hold a squat, anything, especially while you're watching TV. We, uh, we own a TV. We do not, I haven't had cable for Gosh, it's probably been five years, which I I feel, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. That's just me. We certainly have Netflix and uh, have certainly fallen into the binge watching rabbit hole. But, you know, honestly, I've started, I've really been trying to do more stretching at night. I just, um, I just got a great new book. It's called American Buffalo by Stephen Ranella. Awesome book. Highly recommend it. Really just kind of dives into the history of history of Buffalo and America and it's kind of relation to us. It's, uh, yeah, very well written. And so yeah, don't, uh, don't get sucked into primetime network television, fuel your body, fuel your mind with movement, with good information. And, uh, I think you'll be better and wilder for that. So that's all I've got for today, monkeys. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, I hope everyone has a wild Thanksgiving. And again, we, we monkeys were just, we're so thankful for everyone in the monkey family. We would not be here without you. So very much appreciated. If you've got questions or topics you'd like to hear, shoot, shoot me an Instagram message you can shoot a note via email to info at monkey.co where else YouTube, YouTube comments work, Facebook. It's all good. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to hear. I really enjoy podcasting. So thanks for listening again. Monkey on. and I'll see you out there. Peace.